address those at home. Um, I don't, I'm not even sure where to start. Like, do we get to just, should I say a few words before taking it down, or should we just take it down? Well, uh, briefly, we had, uh, I mean, this is, I guess, over two years in the making from the beginning, just like behind the scenes. But within the design phase and working on this, we've had three community meetings uh, throughout the city, and which were incredible. The first one was in this room. And uh, it was pretty amazing from the very first one, like a, a general theme kind of came out of it from the first one. And sometimes that doesn't happen and from meeting to meeting. And, uh, and the theme was kind of past, present, future. And in every meeting it was kind of talked about. And, uh, and from that it was riffed and everybody went in different ways. But uh, one of the main themes that I kind of picked up on and was going over my notes was uh, kept talking about the river as whether, whether it be a symbol kind of related to the future, uh, to the present, to the past, Trenton being a, a port city, um, and, and just the founding of the city. Uh, it, was, it was this great source of inspiration for me as far as like thinking about everything that was talked about, which was, and it was a, an incredible experience, just like, uh, just the conversations in these meetings. Um, so I had a lot to kind of take, take in, and um, it was kind of past, present, and future. There's, it was an extremely difficult site in some ways to design for because it's such a beautiful building. There's this amazing historic brick everywhere. The, uh, the signage, the original home rubber signage, which is just beautiful. Um, things that I, you know, that we were, we were keeping there, not touching with paint. Um, but also like the little window sections. So the design has, there's like kind of three parts. There's one where you're standing up on the river line uh, waiting for uh, waiting for the train and there's these little windows um, in the building that are cinder blocked right now um, and I designed for those and that's one section of it. The next section is like uh, on the wall of this boiler room which is just a uh, uh, cement blocked wall and um, and it's kind of the, one of the main walls and it's kind of related more to just the present and the present somebody in one of the meetings really described it beautifully talking about the present is always about choice it's always about making a moment you got to go this way or that, and uh, and that was kind of that stuck with me on that wall, just kind of like that decision point. And the future um, is this kind of main long wall uh, that we that I designed for. So um, I'm extremely uh, grateful and excited to work on this project. It's uh, it's a pretty big undertaking. It's a massive wall. <laughs> so um, and I hope everybody in this room comes to the paint day. We're going to have a huge community paint day on April 16th. We're starting now until the 16th. I'm prepping for all of you. So, um, so come out. Uh, we're going to have some fun, listen to music, and mainly get your paints, you know, clothes looking like this. Um, and also, if you've walked down this hallway, you can kind of see it start the start of one of the main walls uh, that's kind of broken down. You'll kind of get an idea as far as how, how everybody can paint on this wall. So, um, again, thank you so much. This is... Uh, very honored and, and uh, excited that I was able to do this. So I hope everybody likes it.
some of my thought because it was in all the meetings was, was talking about that, uh, paying homage to it, and also, um, and all those imagery of the machines are actually of uh, the machines actually in home rubber that's still being worked on right now, and uh, and it's still kicking. I can't wait to see the the boiler room steam going every morning when it's actually done. So, um, and as it uh, as it moves, I, I have it up here in the in the, uh, in the top. The wall moves along this bottom, and I I built the uh, the smokestack into the foot of the Trenton Makes Bridge, so it comes down, and then uh, the water splits out runs along the entirety of that wall, which was an, an another like really interesting uh, interesting thing to design for because it runs right along the river line and also Route 129, which as you're looking at it, you're kind of moving past it. And, uh, and I know there's a little walkway to the state building there, but um, for the most part, your vantage point of looking at this thing is from a car or from a train. And it, it made me think about even just perspective wise. So like kind of starting on that far right, you kind of move kind of close up and as it moves, it moves into this, uh, the interior.